Okay, well, this is a, a week-long assess field course in Slapton in South Devon. And the whole idea of this is to bring students to a different environment. In this case, it's a coastal environment, so we make use of the coastal environment, which we don't have back in Shropshire. Uh, and it's an opportunity to give students a very focused and very intense set of fieldwork experiences that they have to go through, collect the data, analyse the data, write it up and submit it uh, before we go home. So it's, uh, it's quite a tough week, really. I think there's a range of different opportunities for them in terms of teaching and learning opportunities, I guess. main thing is they get to work in environments that we, we don't have back in Shropshire or we can't access readily back in Shropshire, so they're working with perhaps unfamiliar terrain and systems and habitats. That's always a, a, a good experience for them. But there's also this whole thing about teams and teamwork uh, and working to very immediate deadlines. So. Uh, they get to work with people that they probably haven't worked with during the academic year and um, they, uh, I think, uh, benefit from that. And uh, yeah, always a good experience for them and always some very good feedback, particularly at the end of uh, students' programmes. They always look back on their fieldwork experience and see it as something really positive and really valuable. We are investigating the uh, variability in ground flora between the path edge and five metres either side, up and downhill the slope at Slapton Lee Woodland. We have measured out a, a 150 metre sampling section and we've got 10 points along that um, sampling section uh, by which we're measuring the leaf litter depth, we're doing quadrats whereby we're identifying plant species and we're also measuring the light intensity which should affect the different type of species that we have in the wooded area. It's been a really intense week with the amount of work we've had to do in the short space of time but um, as our lecturers have said, this will enable us to cope with working under pressure in the future. We have decided to sample some of the freshwater invertebrates present in both the lee itself and the water bodies leading into it. And we're also measuring some abiotic variable variables as well, like nitrate levels, phosphate levels and the temperature. Well, we're using kick sampling, so we're kicking up some of the sediment from the floor of the um, water body, whatever it is. And then we're using a net to catch um, everything that's been kicked up, which will hopefully be some invertebrates along with some of the sediment, but we can wash that out. And um, then we put it into a sample tray with some um, clear water, and then we can, from that, pick out the species and identify them, um, make a count and record them. Then when we've done that in all the sites, we can compare all them and look for any differences between the different areas. And then we can also use the abiotic factors to maybe explain um, reasons for them, differences. I think it's, it's very useful to sort of develop practical skills that you can't get from just being in lectures. Um, particularly the field trip as a whole has been quite a good experience because it's given us a chance to use a variety of different skills. Um, whereas this, um, we've done this before and now it gives us a chance to use the skills that we've learned earlier in the week in a way that we want to use them. The field course does a number of different things. Um, it gives the students a chance to really consolidate everything they've done all year and actually get out and do some practical work um, quite intensively but also I, I really like it because um, some of the students that maybe struggle slightly more academically or tend to um, not be as vocal in the classroom it really gives them an opportunity to come out of themselves and you really see a different side of them and really see people develop a, an awful lot in a very short time and I think they really enjoy it as well. This is specifically ecological field course so it's all to do with um, ecology and habitats so we've got a number of different areas we've got the lee here behind us um, freshwater habitats the students get out on boats and take samples from there and compare compare that with invertebrates they um, do some bird counts and try and look at different bird behaviors different in different parts of the lee um, we've got coastal habitats so they can do work on shingle ridge or out on um, the rocky shore and then we've got a couple of really nice woodland habitats around which we use as well and um, to do vegetation surveys so for our group project we were looking at the distribution uh, distribution of species along field and uh, woodland boundaries we were measuring abiotic factors such as light intensity and wind speed and we were looking at the different species along each of the boundaries it will provide us well being able to have to survey and the relevant um, information needed to collect uh, data and just being able to understand the way our environment works. I suppose we've learned um, 
how like to carry out surveys should we be employed um, to do surveys in a future career or um, kind of it's given us an awareness of what is out there kind of thing not like when we're at Harper we learn about the countryside around there to see countryside in a different part of the country gives us more idea if you know what I mean.